and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. This means sent. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. His neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begging asked, isn't this the same man who used to sit and beg? Some claimed that he was. Others said, no, he only looks like him. But he himself insisted, I am the man. How then were your eyes opened? They asked. He replied, the man they called Jesus, made some mud and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and then I could see. May the Lord bless his holy word. Amen. Let's appreciate her with clubs. Amen. May God also bless you, our elder, for the good work. Uh, now we shall stand on our feet so that we can affirm our faith. Tuweza kusimama. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered at the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From hence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Uh, let's say pray. Uh, we wish to welcome any visitors. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, at least us so that you can greet the church. It seems we don't have visitors. Can we appreciate ourselves? Uh, we are kindly reminded that our first service starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 10.20 a.m. Then our second service starts at 10.30 a.m. and ends at 1 p.m. Classes are ongoing for baptism, Holy Communion, and dedication. And you, if, you, if you'd wish to join any of the classes, lie us with a, a secretarial desk so that you can be guided accordingly. Uh, last Saturday was our cell day, and all of us joined our various home cells. And there was some registration going on. So if you are not in on Sunday, kindly lie us with your chairman so that you can fill in the, the registration form for ease of processing by the secretarial desk. Uh, office day is Thursdays from 9 a.m. So if you wish to see our pastor, come over on Thursday from 9 a.m. Uh, we are also reminded that uh, on Friday, in the morning from 8 a.m., we have the Bible study class. You are all welcomed for that. Then in the evening, from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., we have prayers here in the church, and we are all welcomed for the prayers. Today, after the second service, we shall have our parish council here in the church. But before the parish council starts, we shall have the committee that is spearheading the Muihoko development. They will meet before the parish council starts. So if you are a member of that committee, kindly affair yourself so that you can attend the meeting and plan for the big day. 
We are all reminded that uh, the fundraiser for Muihoko is next Sunday, 3rd of March. And we, as we have been doing, we have been pledging. And for those of us who might not have pledged, Kaidre do so today. Those who made pledges, let's honor our pledges and the Lord will bless us. Let's continue praying for that day. It is now next Sunday, and we pray that the Lord is going to use his servants to make that project a success. May the Lord bless all of us as we continue with our service. Last but not least, let's use the facilities that we have. The world is going digital. Let's also embrace that in our church. So if you have to, for your givings, whether offerings, tithes, and dance giving, kindly use the pay bill so that uh, we make work easier for our treasurer. When you use that pay bill, there are no charges on your side. The church meets the cost. May the Lord bless you as we continue with the service. Let's appreciate our elder again. Thank you. Thank you for the announcement. Let all of us take the, the, the position that the Lord has given unto to us because we have been called and chosen for the good work. So all those belong to us for the glory and honor of God. Now we are going to stand so that I can welcome praise and worship to lead us with praises and some worship. Tueza Kusimama Kanisa. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. Amen. Ni wakati mwingine Bwana ambaye ametuwezesha tubona siku ya leo. Tuna sababu ya kuminua Yesu mwana anastahili sifa zote. Maana eno lake linasema katika kitabu cha Zaburi Psalms 150 verse 6. Let everything has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As you going to praise our Lord. Imwimbie Mungu kwa maana amekufanya uwe hai siku ya leo. Mshukuru Mungu kwa maana anastahili. Hallelujah. Pigia Bwana Yesu shango na vigelegele. Hallelujah. Hai nuliwe bwana wa mabwana Hai nuliwe ambete na mema Hai nuliwe
to rejoice in it, Jehovah King of Glory. We want to acknowledge that, Father, that your presence, your love, your grace has been sufficient in our lives and us in Father. And you made it possible for us, Jehovah King of Glory, to see another day, the King of Glory. We want to thank you this morning, Jehovah God, for it is you, Father, that you have brought us this far, Jehovah King of Glory. It is not that, Lord, you have done anything good, Jehovah Father, but we want to thank you, Father, because your love you still continue to love us, Jehovah Father. Now, dear Lord, this morning we want to confess our sins, Jehovah King of Glory. The Bible says that happy are those sins and transgressions are forgiven, dear King of Glory. We make a humble request unto you this morning that you may forgive us this morning, Jehovah, that we may stand even bring us before your presence, even in this service, Jehovah King of Glory. You've confessed our sins, Jehovah Father, and that you've done knowingly and unknowingly, Jehovah Father. We pray, dear Lord, that you may forgive us this morning, Jehovah King of Glory, so that, Lord, even as we come before your presence this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts, with our supplications unto you, dear King of Glory, that, Father, you be acceptable in your presence, Jehovah Father. We want to thank you, Father, because, dear Lord, your good God, Jehovah God, because, Father, you forgive and forget everlasting Father. Thank you, God, because of showing us in love this morning, Jehovah Father, even to give us an opportunity to be your presence and to worship you, Lord, to come before your presence, Lord, to give you glory, to honor you, Jehovah Father. We don't take it for granted, dear Lord, you know, it has taken your hand and mercy upon our lives this morning. Jehovah Father, we want to thank you this morning because of our families, Jehovah Father. Your King of Glory, you know each one, each one of us, Jehovah Father, and even now as outside, Jehovah Father. We want to commit them unto your hands, Jehovah Father. And those mothers who are praying for their children, your King of Glory, and even those, those who are praying for their husbands, Jehovah Father. Dear Lord Almighty, we pray, your King of Glory, that you're going to come through for them, Jehovah King of Glory. And those even families that are grieving, Jehovah God, because there are the challenges there in your King of Glory. We want to pray that this morning, your King of Glory, that you're going to come through for them, Jehovah Father. We want to thank you, Father, because many of the times that we call upon you, King of Glory, and you always come through for us, Jehovah Father. This morning, we want to pray and to make a humble prayer to you this morning. Praying for our families, Jehovah King of Glory. Them that are struggling financially, dear King of Glory. We pray, dear Father, that you may come for, uh, through for them, Jehovah. Them that are struggling because of love, Jehovah King of Glory. We pray, dear Lord, that you may come through for them, Jehovah King of Glory. Them that are crying because of cooperation, dear King of Glory and oneness, Jehovah Father. We pray that God you may come through for them, Jehovah Father. And even those that are uh, spending sleepless night because of their children, dear King of Glory. How we pray, dear Father, that you're going to come through for them, Jehovah Father. Dear Lord and, my, and, my, and, and King of Glory, Father, thank you, Father, because you know them, Jehovah Father. As is Lord, you understand even that whatever is happening, those families, Jehovah King of Glory, we humbly call upon you, Jehovah King of Glory, and you have no Jehovah Father, it is only you, Jehovah God, we want to help them, Jehovah Father. We pray even for those husbands that are not having jobs, Jehovah King of Glory, and they have responsibilities, they have bills to pay, Jehovah Father. We want to pray, dear Lord, this morning, that King of Glory, you are the one, Jehovah God, you, 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 you supply for us in our needs, Jehovah King of Glory. Our Father, dear Father, that you are sitting in the throne of mercy and watching over us, King of Glory. May you come from there, may you come, may you come through for them, Jehovah King of Glory. And even those businesses that are going down, Jehovah Father, come, dear Lord, and do what no man can do in Jesus' name, dear King of Glory. Our Father, we commit our families unto you, Jehovah King of Glory. We know each and every one of them, Jehovah King of Glory. You know the challenges, Jehovah God, your people are going through.
them, Jehovah King of Glory. So love them with your blessings. So love them with your favor, Jehovah King of Glory. Even as if they wake up each and every day, King of Glory, to work for thee and to see our Jehovah God, our church stands, Jehovah Father. We pray, dear King of Glory, that knowledge and wisdom is given to them, Jehovah Father. We thank you, Father, because God, you know and you know how you do it, Jehovah Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you and we honor you for me this morning, Jehovah God. Even for this, our church, Jehovah God, sing on your King of Glory. We want to thank you, Father, because of this, Father, you brought us, Jehovah King of Glory. Thank you, God, because of many things that you have done unto us, Jehovah Father. We continue to pray, King of Glory, the Lord Almighty, you all forever, Father, surround us with your blessings, Jehovah King of Glory. You are going forever to protect us, to guide us, Jehovah Father, and to always do good unto us, Jehovah King of Glory. For our members, Jehovah God, we commit them unto Abraham, Jehovah Father. May you, dear Lord, meet their, meet them to the points of their needs, everlasting Father. Bless them, Jehovah King of Glory, and let their territories, Jehovah Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We also pray for our church in Rehobo, dear King of Glory. We want to thank you, Father, because of this, Father, you brought them, Jehovah Father. We want to pray for blessings upon our, ch our church in Rehobo, King of Glory. Even, dear Lord, our other today for the fundraising comes near, Jehovah Father. We want to trust you, Jehovah King of Glory, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That, Father, you're going to do, uh, to, to do mighty and great things unto, uh, unto them, Jehovah King of Glory. And even the agenda they have on them, the, the coming Sunday, Jehovah King of Glory. Let me pray for your presence, Jehovah King of Glory. Even, dear Lord, as people gather in your presence, Jehovah King of Glory, for fundraising, Jehovah Father, dear King of Glory, to raise money, Jehovah Father. May you go ahead of us, Jehovah King of Glory. May you provide unto us, Jehovah King of Glory. Oh, Father, may you take your position in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because of making it possible for them, Jehovah King of Glory, and even to for them to have reached this far, Jehovah King of Glory. We have known that your good and mercy upon, upon, upon them, Jehovah Father. We want to pray for this parish, Jehovah King of Glory. We want to pray for our parish minister, Jehovah Father. You commit hand your able hand, Jehovah King of Glory. Thank you, Father, for the issue of being a blessing to each of us, King of Glory. May you continue blessing her, Jehovah Father. May you continue seeing her through dear King of Glory. Jehovah Father, you enlarge her territories, Jehovah King of Glory. Abba Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah Father, as goes by as he goes out and comes back, Jehovah Father. May you dear Lord watch over them, Jehovah King of Glory. And even their assistant pastors, they work together with Jehovah Father. We commit them unto your hand, Jehovah King of Glory. Pastor Mary, Pastor Rishon, and the Pastor Rishon, and Pastor Steve, Jehovah Father. We want to pray for your blessings upon their life, Jehovah God. Dear Lord, may you meet them to the point of their needs, everlasting Father. We thank you, Lord, because of their life, Jehovah King of Glory. Even as we continue to pray for their life, Jehovah King of Glory, empower them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Glory. And as we do so, glory and honor shall turn unto your name, Jehovah Father. Abba Father, this morning we are humbled in your presence, Jehovah King of Glory. See your heart that you are hungry and dust of your world, Jehovah King of Glory. May your Father come in now and each one of us, King of Glory. Let them that are here, Jehovah God, and them that are listening unto us online, Jehovah King of Glory. Abba Father, even as we, uh, as we continue in our, in our service, Jehovah, and even as we hear your word, Jehovah King of Glory. Abba Father, may you speak unto each one of us, Jehovah King of Glory. How we hunger and rest for your word this morning, Jehovah God. To empower us and to encourage us, Jehovah King of Glory. As we journey on in this journey of faith, Jehovah King of Glory. Thank you, Lord, and we honor your holy name, Jehovah, King of Glory. We release everything under the control and management of the Holy Spirit of the living God, so that, Father, you may take the fullest control. And this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name.
wako na nimeokoka Yesu ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu ninafurahi kwa kuwa Mungu amenilinda na amenifikisha umbali huu for sure i don't take it for granted na pia kuwashukuru nyinyi wote kwa kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba mmefika katika nyumba ya Mungu ili tukaweze kumwabudu kwa hivyo nitaenda uh, direct to the word ambayo tumesomewa from the book of John chapter 9 from verse 1 to verse 11 and our theme today inasema kwamba i was blind but now i see i was blind but now i see and this is a story about in order uh, in the bible when you read from verse 1 of chapter 9 the book of john tunaona kwamba jesus Uh, together with his disciples while they were in the work of ministry and then they met a man ambaye alikuwa blind by birth bwana Yesu asifiwe huyu mtu alikuwa amezaliwa akiwa eh, hakuwa na uwezo wa kuona and some of the disciples walimuuliza Yesu so nani ambaye amefanya dhambi ni huyu mtu ama ni wazazi wake one is spirit because being blind that, that was a physical blind not a spiritual blindness so these disciples they questioned Jesus nani ambaye atakuwa amekosea Mungu nani atakuwa amefanya dhambi kwa huyu mtu kuwa in this condition na because those people ambao wako blind watu wengi sana wana wana criticize their condition wengi sana wana wanajaribu kujiuliza maswali na utapata even in some cultures in some communities wakipata mtu uh, amezaliwa katika hali hiyo they claim kwamba ni sin imemsababisha kuwa katika hali kama hiyo but Jesus Christ aliwaambia neither his parents or him about hii yote ni kwa mipango ya Mungu so that the glory of God ikaweze kuonekana kupitia kwa this person kwa sababu watu wengi walikuwa wanamfahamu huyu mtu walikuwa wanamjua tangu akiwa eh, mdogo maisha ambayo alikuwa ameishi wanajua amezaliwa katika hali hiyo na hakuwa na na nguvu na uwezo waweza kuona and we only see that disability is not inability so huyo mtu yes alikuwa blind but it doesn't mean kwamba hapo anaweza kufanya kazi because somebody can be blind lakini anaweza kufanya uh, kazi kubwa ambayo hata wewe ambaye unaona unashindwa hautaweza kuifanya wakati wewe unasoma a blind person pia ana uwezo wa kusoma but for them wanatumia brain the difference ni kwamba those people to a very blind kitu ya kwanza yeye atasoma brain ambayo wewe huwezi soma atatumia white cane kutembea nayo ama atumie angali ambaye atamsaidia but is for you wewe hautatumia mambo kama hayo but this person anaweza kuwa knowledgeable than you different ways anaweza kuwa gifted than you in different ways when he was speaking so these people the disciples wakao wanatuliza maswali mengi sana wanashindwa kuona huyu yuko katika hali hii ndio Mungu akaweza kujidirisha ndani ya mwanae ambaye ni Yesu Kristo aliweza kuperform a miracle ambayo this man who was blind aka receive the sight kwanza alichukua matope the man akatumia man is a symbol and akatumia water also is a symbol na tunasema kwamba tuliumbwa kwa udongo the man now huyu mungu ambaye alitumpa kwa udongo ambaye ana uwezo wa kutumodify alitumia Christ akaonesha huku wake kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo akachukua maana na akachukua water ambayo ina ina symbolize 
sanctification, purification. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo alitumia mara and water ili kuweza hiyo kwa kuona ndani ya spiritual blind bila sisi wenyewe kujua. And many people sometimes they are spiritual blind. So this man kitu ya kwanza ujue alikuwa blind after he received the sight alienda akaweza kupeana a testimony of the good news the testimony ambayo aliweza kupeana to the world kwamba kuonesha there is somebody ambaye alimrifa as a prophet kwamba aliweza kuniweka uponyaji ndani yangu siku ana uwezo wa kuona but now i see and many people wakauliza imefanyika kwa njia gani because even the day ambayo Yesu ali perform that miracle ilikuwa siku ya sabato it was a sabbath day so some of the jews walikuwa wanajiuliza mbona huyu anayejiita kristo because they didn't believed in christ as the promised messiah as yahweh so some of them walikuwa wana claim that jesus he was demonic possessed wengi walikuwa na believe hivyo so wanauliza atawezaje kumponya tena ana perform that miracle in sabbath day ikafikia to a point whereby the jews wakatuma some people kwenda ku confirm kwa wazazi wa huyu mtu na wakati walienda ku confirm wazazi hawa kumjibu kwamba ni Yesu Kristo walimwambia this man is old enough kwa hivyo anaweza waelezea yeye mwenyewe is able to tell you na ni kwa nini hao wazazi walijibu hivyo kwa sababu walijua hawataki kwenda kinyume na sheria ya Musa because the Jews walikuwa wanafuatilia sheria ya Musa walikuwa in the law ambayo Moses alikuwa amewa guide ambayo amekuwa anawaongoza kwa hivyo tunaona kwamba Yesu Kristo mwenyewe aliweza kudhihirisha ukuu wa Mungu kupitia that miracle ambayo aliperform so some of them from that testimony kuna watu ambao walikuwa converted walikuwa transformed wakaanza ku believe kwa Mungu aliye hai because this man who was blind he received his sight alipewa the ability ya kuanza kuona tena alipewa ule uwezo today unaweza pata there are so many people they are spiritual blind ambao wanahitaji because there is physical blind and spiritual blind So physical blind ni pale ambapo unapata haya macho hayawezi kuona but spiritually you can have sight. So unaweza kuona mambo in the realm of spirit but when it comes to in the realm of flesh in the physical realm hawezi kuona. But then a spiritual blindness unaweza kuwa unatembea unaona unafanya kazi na kila jambo unaweza kufanya but in the realm of spirit you are blind and how maybe you are blind because of so many reasons physical blindness some of the reasons ambazo zinafanya mtu anakuwa blind physically maybe amezaliwa hivyo ama pengine is a disease ambayo imemweka to that position ama unapata some chemicals ambazo huyu mtu amekuwa ametumia zikampelekea mpaka kumpoteza macho tutumie mfano mzuri tunaona kwa taarifa baadhi ya sehemu ambazo watu wanatumia pombe na inafikia mahali mpaka inafunga macho yao hawawezi kuona wanaweza kutembea lakini kuona hawana ule uwezo because of the some chemicals ambazo zimechanganywa pale ndani ambazo ziko na nguvu mpaka zimeweza ku blind their eyes and but spiritual blindness hii ni pale ambapo Yes unatembea but the things that you are doing ziko against the light that came into the world 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So unaona kwamba yes you think that you are doing the right things but in real sense according to the word the things that you are doing even if we go to church but the things that you are doing they made us to be blind we don't see the glory of god and that's why tunakosa even the testimony ya kuweza ku testify in the house of the lord because god he want us to give the good news the testimony that will bring change will bring transformation into the world kwa yale matendo ambayo Mungu anatutendea ni matendo ambayo anataka kupitia kwa yale matendo ukuu wa Mungu ukaweze kuonekana but see many of the times in our modern day the church imekuwa ni tofauti baadhi ya makanisa imekuwa ni tofauti ba, badala ya ku ya ku testify the glory of god the deeds of god in our lives sometimes mungu anaweza kutufikisha mahali na tunashindwa ku acknowledge his power tunashindwa ku acknowledge his presence tunashindwa ku acknowledge his deeds we we are thinking that it is our fault kufikia mahali tumefika and that's why ata ku testify the goodness about of about god tunashindwa tunaanza ku testify the things that are contrary to god the things that cannot bring change to the world kwa hivyo tunafaa tukawe tayari kuamua ku receive sight in the realm of spirit ambayo Mungu ametupa huo uwezo sio kwamba Mungu anashindwa kutubariki sio kwamba Mungu anashindwa kututendea lakini Mungu anataka kuona kila ushuhuda ambao anatutendea je are we ready to testify to give a testimony a testimony that will bring sight katika ulimwengu wa kiroho italeta uwezo wa kuona katika ulimwengu wa Mungu ambaye alituita Bwana asifiwe. You know, many of the time unapata some Christians badala ya ku carry the message ambayo ina testimony ambayo ita testify the goodness of God, kitu ambayo inatupeleka chini na inatufanya uh, inatuweka to a point whereby the devil anaweza kutushinda. It is because in churches today unaweza pata hata gossip na bado ni kwa kanisa. So tumeacha to spread the good news of god tunaanza ku spread the bad news about churches the bad news about believers so there is the thing ambayo ina, inafanya we glorify another kingdom na tunaleta another kingdom down so this man who was blind aliweza ku glorify the power of god through jesus christ and we are the same people today that Christ aligia he saved us we were sinners he was able to deliver us to redeem us from the original sin ili tukaweze kuingia into the light tukaweze ku tukaweze ku testify to give a testimony about this salvation ambayo imeweza kutupa sight ambayo imeweza kutufungulia macho ya kiroho tukaweze kumjua Mungu ambaye tunafaa kumwabudu and that message ambayo Mungu ameiweka ndani yetu the message of transformation the message that brings life the message that brings sight many of us atutaki ku kusaidia hiyo kazi ili tukaweze kuonesha ukuu wa Mungu so it is for us to take that, that opportunity to take that advantage because we received the power we received the sight through the word of god because as a christian for you to be a christian there are some secrets of god ambazo unazijua 
ambazo yule non believer haizi jua there are some testimonies ambazo Mungu amekutendea you as a Christian ambazo unaweza testify kwa mtu ambaye hakuwa anaamini Mungu awezi kuingia na kuamini Mungu na ku serve the God that you are serving today but some of the christians in the world in the current world that we have today tumekata to give a good testimony the testimony of good news tumeshindwa kupeana so tuna tunaacha ku glorify our god kuonesha kwamba we are not spiritual blind we are no longer slaves of evil but we are the children of god we have the sight as the bible says that we we are the light and where there is light that means hakuna kitu ambacho kinaweza kuwa hidden so you are able to see in the realm of spirit bwana sifiwe we have the sight as christians we have the sight and the power so it is our time to testify to the world so that people they may know the deeds ambazo Mungu wetu anatufanyia the deeds ambazo Mungu anatendea watu wake ili tukaweze kubadilisha Bwana asifiwe ili tukaweze kubadilisha ulimwengu huu ili watu wakaweze kuamini huyu Mungu ambaye anatenda huyu Mungu ambaye sio Mungu anayelinganishwa na kitu chochote Mungu ndio anatuwezesha tunafika umbali ambao tumefika But the moment you will not acknowledge our God and starting to think that it is your fault kufikia mahali umefika utafikia uh, mahali ambapo mambo yataanza kutendeka katika maisha yako tofauti na vile ambavyo unadhania tofauti na vile ambavyo unaelewa but the moment you will acknowledge god you will acknowledge the power of god in you that is the moment ambapo mungu na yeye ataanza kuzidi kukufanyia mambo makuu katika maisha yako bwana sifiwe so this man tujue the old man the old flesh ilikuwa ime, imetolewa sasa ame receive a new flesh have we received a new flesh yes when jesus christ died on the cross we received a new flesh a new sight but are we still seeing in the realm of spirit bado tunaona are we still glorify our god because he brought salvation into the world do we still have that testimony in our lives in our deeds in our feet in our confession bwana sifiwe bado tunaona katika ulimwengu wa kiroho na kama vile nimesema kwamba you can be spiritual blind lakini bado unafanya mambo makubwa unaweza kuwa unafanya mambo tofauti na wale wengine but in in real sense spiritually hauoni na kuna mahali itafikia kwamba utaanza eh, kuona tofauti mambo yakienda vibaya kwa sababu gani kwa sababu katika ulimwengu wa kiroho kuna macho ambayo yamefungwa 
lakini wakati ukiwa na macho ya kiroho hapo ndipo wakati ambapo unaanza kuacha kujiona wewe unaanza kuona mungu unaacha eh, kupeana the message ambayo haiwezi ku bring transformation into the life of another person na kuanza ku bring change ku bring change through the the message the testimony ambayo utaweza kupeana ambayo itaonekana uungu ndani yake kwa hivyo ni sisi wenyewe tuwe tayari kama tuko tayari kubaki na macho haya ambayo Mungu alituwekea macho ya kiroho macho ambayo yana uzima ndani yake hapo ndipo wakati ambapo Mungu na yeye atazidi kuachilia baraka yake you know many people especially those people who don't believe in God wanashangaa wanauliza mara kwa mara kwamba why Christians and other religions wanaweza kuwa humiliated by the devil by the devil and they believe in God yes sometimes it's possible because those people when they believe in th- in that realm wana believe wakiwa serious very serious but when you come to church today in our modern day churches yes i want to be a son of god but also the world is forcing me nikaweze kuwa against the light that i received from christ now ninaacha to serve the true god ninaingia to another realm ninaanza to serve the things that will not bring glory to god na baadaye mambo ikikuwa vibaya i'm going back to the presence of god begging god to 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 bless me begging god to protect me begging god to it's not possible it can't be like that way because it is the bible that says we cannot serve two masters at a time so maybe uwe huko but hawezi kuwa huko na huko anything that we will do as christians as christians that is against the will of god that is the gate that the devil can use to enter into our lives anything that a christian can do in this life that is against the will of god that is the gate for the devil to enter into your life so that means even your words can give the devil the access to enter into your life and change your testimony bwana sifiwe so it's good to be alert it's good to have the spiritual sight to have the sight whereby we will be able to see things which are unseen in the realm of spirit na ndio tukaweze kufikia hapo lazima tuwe tunaamua tunaleta eh, ushuhuda ambao utamtukuza Mungu ushuhuda ambao utakuwa kama wa huyu mtu ambaye Yesu Kristo alipatana na yeye ambaye alikuwa haoni na akapokea uzima na uzima huo ndio ambao tulipokea tulipokea huo mwangaza ili tukaweze tukaweze kuona because this man alikuwa blind na Jesus what he did it was not an ordinary thing it was an extraordinary miracle and in the same way we received an extraordinary powers in our lives to see to see our lives to see the truth 
of God, to see our God by the doings. Ili tukaweze kupeana ushuda in the world. Ili tukaweze kuspread the gospel of God. Because a testimony is like a channel of evangelism. We can evangelize to the world through our testimony. Ambayo mungu ametufanyia. Na hapo ndipo tunapo weza kuleta the glory of God. Hapo ndi tunaweza ku exalt our God. Hapo ndi tunaweza kufanya mungu akaweze kuendelea kufanya kazi yake ndani ya maisha yetu. Akaweze kutubadilisha. Akaweze kutuinua. Akazidi kututendea mambo maku. Because the little that he did tuliweza ku appreciate now anatuweka to another level kutufanyia mambo maku ambayo hatukuwa tuna expect kwamba anaweza kutufanyia na inafikia mahali unaweza kuwa unaomba Mungu kitu kidogo na akakufanyia double and those are the things ambazo zina happen when you are ready to give a testimony about the spiritual power of God, about the greatness of God, about the deeds of God, that is when you give God the chance to do more things in your life. Because these people walikuwa waki argue na ilifikia mahali this man aliwambia whether that man is a devil or whatever, the fact is I received sight. That is the fact. I received sight. Christians, we received sight from our God through Jesus Christ. Now it is our time to testify into the world. It is our time to evangelize to the world. So that the world will know the true God. The God who should be worshipped. The God of Elijah who answered by prayer. Who answered by fire. The God who answered by aliweza kujionesha na akajibu kwa moto. Because ata tukiangalia wakati alijibu kwa moto, some of the people waliacha ku worship the idols na wakaanza ku worship the true god and he is the same god who used christ as a vessel of transformation as a vessel that will bring change and bring deliverance into the world and the same testimony the same testimony ambayo alileta Dio ambayo ali transfer to us as Christian believers. The moment we will be ready to evangelize to the world by the testimony that God has done to us, that we have received the truth of God, the enlightenment of God in us, that is the moment that our God will start to do the great and mighty things in our lives. Kwa sababu God is able. God is able. The problem is not God. The problem is us, Christians. Because sometimes, unapata, kuna mambo ambayo ni very possible to God. But you as a Christian, you don't believe. Hawamini kama inaeza fanyika. You don't believe. Now, according to your faith, because it is the Bible that says, we walk by faith and not by sight. Because you don't believe, it will not happen. So this man, this blind man, he believed that it is possible. It can happen. Because this is the man of God. This is the promised Messiah. And the moment he believed, he was commanded. Wakati Yesu alimpaka the mad. Kwa macho, akamwambia nenda to Sidom, ukaoshe. To the pool, wende ukaoshe macho yako. And 
he received an instant healing. The moment Alyosha macho from that pool hapo ndipo alipokea kuona aliweza kuona the moment jesus died the moment he died that is the moment that we as christians we received the spiritual sight but then wakati unaweza kuona alafu utumie a needle ucheze nayo kwa macho obvious there is a possibility ukaweza kupoteza your sight now the moment we received salvation through Jesus Christ the moment when he died some of us yes we are saved but our deeds are like needles ambazo tumetumia tukaweza kudunga to this salvation ikaweza kutuvuta ikatuondoa the things the vices ambazo zimetumika ku kuweza ku blind again our eyes the sin is a vice that is used to blind our sight bwana sifiwe and that is where the devil he can use a weakness to attack you your weakness to attack you kwa hivyo if we have this light the sight of god it is our time to give the testimony to the world to testify to the world because we were blind but now we see we see by the power of god by the spirit of god we have received the sight the ability to see so now it is our time to go and to testify to the world that there is God who is able to restore our lives to restore our sight now what we should do kama tumepoteza our sight we go back to God we reconcile bwana sifiwe yes we repent we rededicate our lives to him ili akaweze kuangaza tena nuru yetu ili tukaweze kumuinua Mungu tukaweze kumtukuza Mungu kwa shuhuda zetu ambazo Mungu atazidi kututendea na atazidi kutufanyia kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki na azidi kuwatendea mema tunapozidi kuomba ukuu wake tunapozidi kuomba kwamba akazidi kutuangazia zaidi katika ulimwengu wa kiroho ili tukaweze kumshuhudia katika kila pande katika ulimwengu wote acheni tuombe our almighty god king of all the glory we worship you and we honor your holy name thank you for your power thank you for your greatness thank you father for your presence how we pray the lord you may forgive us all trespasses that lord we have committed we pray father for the renewal of our mind open our spiritual eyes dear master we pray for enlightenment with you god we pray for encountership with your spirit take over holy ghost thank you for your word how we pray that you may help us so that we may give the testimony of good news help us our redeemer to receive the sight father help us enlighten our spiritual eyes take over dear master because there is no one like you thank you for using me father to share your word how i pray lord you may give me more wisdom so that we may know you more in jesus christ mighty name we pray and believe amen let us appreciate our pastor Thank you pastor for the word that we need to be spiritual enlightened so that we can be able to testify of Christ who took our lives and he saved us so it is our high time each and every one of us to make the decision of testifying of Christ wherever we go and we will be blessed so god bless you pastor and add you more uh tutaweza kusimama tufungue nyimbo 37
with our offerings so that we can give our Thanksgiving tithe offerings. Uh, for M-Pesa, you can use the number sticked on the wall. So tuweze kusimama nyibo zetu nambari 37, the ladhini na saba. Yote na mtole ya Yesu Niwe wako ni pero God Almighty, we thank you, Father. Thank you for being with us from the beginning of this first service. Up to now, Lord, we have come to the end. Thank you for each and every one who has managed to come to worship you in your sanctuary this moment. Lord, how we pray for your blessings. Lord, you may bless us. You may protect us, dear Master. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Father, for your glory, for all service give us. The Lord, you have used them, Lord, today. We pray for more empowerment. We pray the Lord, you may use us more into your field. Take over, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for all giving, all offerings and tithe. The Lord, we have given to you. We pray the Lord, let them be the doors of blessings. Father, we pray that you may bless us in your mighty way. Lord, meet us at the point of our needs. We pray, Father, for more power from you, Lord Almighty. Take over, Holy Spirit, as we terminate this service, Lord. We pray for your power. We pray, Father, for your Holy Spirit to walk with us. And as we are going to prepare for the second service, we pray for more wisdom, more courage, more enlightenment, more power from you, our Father. Because this is not our work. It is your work. You have used us as your vessel, and we know that, Lord, you have good purpose for us. We pray that, Lord, you may help us to tarry in your temple, to remain in your presence so that we may worship you in truth and in spirit. Thank you for everything that, Lord, you have done to us. We pray, Father, for your goodness and for your tender mercy to be with us. For those, Father, who will not manage to remain to the second service, we pray, Lord, as they are living, may you bless them, may you protect them. Every means that they will use, we pray for spiritual protection in the name of Jesus Christ. And that is our humble prayer of faith. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, trusting, and believe. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Mungu awabariki na awatende mema. Amen. Uh, tumefika mwisho wa ibada yetu ya kwanza. Kwa jina ni Imelda na ni Miyokoka. Yesu ni buwana. Praise and worship. Give us a hi. Ni moko zia liye ni fia Ni toke dhambi ni alisema Yeye yeah, yeah.